Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and you know when Windows uh, started having the Windows subsystem for Linux 2 or WSL 2 it was amazing because we were able to like do Linux development in Windows use Linux in Windows very easily and of course a big part of development now is to use Docker docker to do it and when you use docker and wsl2 together it's amazing it's it's it has basically just gives you the it gives you a very good very very good experience but of course one of the things about doing development is that nowadays sometimes you just do a lot of development is done on a laptop and your c drive which wsl2 installs into by default might not have the space to hold all the virtual machines and things like that so what we're gonna do now is that i will show you how to move the wsl2 container the which holds your docker i mean we're gonna move the docker desktop container we're going to move the docker desktop container so that all your container images can be off from your OS drive into hopefully a much larger uh, secondary drive and it, was, it won't kill your boot drive. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to, if your docker desktop is started, we need to stop it. So we just bring up from taskbar, right click on the docker desktop and say quit docker desktop. So we're going to quit docker desktop here then we are going to just decide where we're going to put this the new docker desktop the files i'm going to just find this from my f drive i'm going to put my uh i'm just going to name it ddvhd so this is where we're going to move it to and then we're going to need a command prompt that an administrator command prompt. We're gonna start an admin level command prompt. And now let's uh so there are a few things about uh about WSL2, which is which is that it's basically sort of like a virtual machine running running in your system. So if I type WSL dash L here. We're gonna see the list of uh Linux the WSL the Linux distros that are installed in the system. And so here we see that we have I have three here: Ubuntu, Docker Desktop Data, and Docker Desktop. So obviously these two Docker desktop ones are the are the distros that that are used by Docker Desktop. And while you might think to yourself okay if i'm going to just move in the name of saving space i'll just move everything to the new to a different drive uh i do not recommend against moving this docker desktop uh distribution because it seems like when when you get a version update in docker it will actually this is where all the executables are located the docker executables are located so when there's a version update it actually updates this distribution so i don't think you want to move this one because the system probably is going to do some do something to it i'm not too sure but basically i don't i don't touch this i just touch the docker docker desktop data distribution okay so this the steps of moving the once you know which distribution you want to move, the steps are actually the same as moving any other Linux distribution in WSL2, which is that the first thing you want to do is you want to stop fully shut down the Windows subsystem for Linux. So we will just say WSL and then double dash shut down. Okay, so that will basically stop all the all the WSL uh, WSL distributions. So you can see, I can see that they are all stopped. Okay, so now that they are stopped, 
we will now export the distro that we want which is our docker desktop distro so i'll say wsl dash dash export and then we'll say docker desktop data remember you need the exact name okay so i'm going to just export it out to the location that we put it just now so this would be a tar file i'm just gonna say export it to docker desk.tar in the f colon so we'll give it some time okay so the file has been exported so we have the tar file here it's about four gigs now what we're gonna do is we need to unregister the old we need to unregister the old distro so we're gonna say we're going to say wsl dash dash and we will say we will unregister the distro so we will unregister unregister our docker desktop data okay so now that we've unregistered our docker desktop data if we list it out now you can see docker desktop data is no longer there okay and then we will now import the the distro back in but we're going to import it into the new location so i'm going to say import into remember to keep the name the same so we're going to say import docker desktop data and it's going to ask for an install location so i'm going to put it into the d colon slash ddvhd slash d desktop so this is a folder and then we're going to point it to the tar file edvhd slash docker desk dot tar and it says you cannot find the location um just give me a second da, 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 da. Oh, why am I typing D? Uh, it's F. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, okay. So, F colon desktop, then the tar file. And yes, it created the desktop folder on its own. Okay, so now it's going to go in and import back the, the folder. Okay, so now the folder has been imported and if we take a look again all the docker desktops everything is back it running let's just start up our docker desktop again just start docker desktop again let the whale load okay whales loading Okay, so now it's loaded. Let's just go into our WSL and just run Docker and take a look. Yep, everything's here. Let's pull the hello world Docker run hello world. Okay, so all the containers and everything is working perfectly fine. Was created. Yep. Okay, so basically that's how you move your Docker desktop installation in WSL. I don't even know what to call this. Docker desktop with WSL2 integration data drive. Okay, so that's how you move it so that you can move it away from your os drive so that you can save space from your os drive um okay one other small tidbit of information 
Now, in case if you're wondering, how do I find the log files for my container? Because it's actually in a different place compared to the normal Docker. The, 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 for your, for Docker in WSL2, your, your config files and everything, your container files, they are inside whack whack WSL open explorer have been whack whack WSL two dollar. So this shows you your WSL uh, drives. We're going to go into Docker desktop data, version pack data, community desktop, uh, no, Docker, and then containers. So these here are your container files. So you can find all your log files and everything inside here. So I guess we can just take a look at the hello world. Let's find our hello world container and we should be able to find the console log just now. Yep, is this it? Yep, this was it. Okay, so that's just a small handy little tidbit. Okay, this is Marauders. Hope you learned something today. See you all in the next video.